one of our current projects is to use uh, the trade new trading partner management in the integration suite to make it easier to do migrations. And one of the things that we're looking at is migrating the existing message mappings and artifacts into integration suite, make some small modifications in the schemas so the B2B and the trading partner management match, and then we can use this as a simple way of, of managing these. Um, and that means that we generally will get an iFlow that looks like this, where we're using the process direct and we can add that into our agreement. Um, and one of the things we didn't have is we have a trading partner ID that is being defined here. And what we can easily do is if we take this one, we can open the, the script here. We then have a button here that says open in VGAF that will enable us to access this and we have an ID here. And one of the cool things about this is that you can go in, reuse these TPM key ID. So here we can use it, we can run it. And now we are getting that we have these parameters here. If we want to modify these, we would obviously need to go to our integration suite. Here we have the partner. We have the parameters here, so let's just see if we can change this. New five. And let's just also add a new one. It's five. So now we have created a new one. We then need to activate this in our agreement. And what we can then see is if we look here at the agreements, um, It is under here the B2B discount here under the B2B scenario, as I recall it. We have these are the activity mappings we need to add. So we can edit here. We can see that there is now a new parameter. So we can say here extended use this one values. And now they are being added. And they're saying there's this uh, that is not connected to anything we need to delete. We can then delete it and update pending so i guess that is on the overview i um, need to press update here so this would update the trading partner value and we can see now it's not there and now it is there with our new five value and without just five so this is really an easy way to look at some of these parameters and obviously we can also use this um and once we have modified it, we can upload it into the iFlow and thereby be able to use it there. We have actually the same capabilities in the... So here we have some of the different scripts here. Let's see here we have... Um, we have a script here that is a Groovy script. Um, if we had message mappings with parameters, we could also use this in in that and use it as a simple way of, of managing these things. And this is just one part of, of the, the, the way and where it really makes a lot of sense that you have a IDE that it's running on your integration suite system. You can easily update and run it. And then obviously once we have updated here, we go back to our iFlow. deploy it and then we can actually run it to just say edit save as version deploy and then we can trigger the message again here so let's see if we now have it being processed if we look here so hopefully we now see the new headers in the headers, oh, this property. So here we now have the parameters five. So this really an easy way. The same way if you have uh, function libraries, they can also be edited in the Groovy functionality the same way. And this is just something that streamlines the process. We can migrate directly into this scenario, making it a lot faster. And then you just need in the trading partner management uh, to just say, hey, um, use this use this uh, iFlow to handle it and then in the figure tool you can also see for instance 
we have the iFlow here. You can see uh, shared uh, resources. Oh, we can add if there is actually any endpoints in it. I think we did not connect it here. Uh, but if we do go in and we synchronize the trading partner management, what we would then see is that this uh, this iflow would now have an an endpoint that has been defined as a trading partner management um, scenario. So there is a lot of uh, ideas and things you can work with this here. It is a full suite of products that just simplifies the way you are delivering with this. So I hope this is uh, interesting. You want to try it out. I definitely think that using the, the FGAF tool in trading partner management is something that would simplify your workflow. There is work to do, be done, uh, but having a, a simple way of working with this will make your life easier. Thanks for watching.